And good Monday evening, Pitt State football fans. Welcome to 2011 and the Coach Tim Beck Show, live from Chatter's Restaurant and Bar in Pittsburgh. Eddie Lomcheck, indeed, along with Pitt State head football coach Tim Beck. Glad to have you with us uh, wherever you are. Pitt State uh, football season upon us. It will begin Thursday at Missouri Western. Very tough opener and obviously conference game as we jump right into it. A little different deal with scheduling this year and uh, no non-conference game starting next year. So that's one thing to talk about, uh, how challenging an opener that will be. But Coach Beck alongside getting set to go into his second year uh, as the head coach and much more experienced team. So I'm sure that uh, from that standpoint, you probably feel like you have a, a few more answers maybe than you did at this time last year. Well, last year, you know, we uh – traveled to University of Central Oklahoma and we had I think 38 or 39 guys that hadn't traveled before we we were looking at that today and and kind of putting together our 60 man uh, travel roster and uh, we've got now it's flip-flopped and we've got about 40 guys that have traveled and uh, 20 that haven't so just that alone the experience that and the depth that you have on your special teams and, and and your whole unit offensively defensively I think that will make a difference overall do you, you still travel 60, is that right? Yeah, you can travel. You know, just a couple of years ago, it was only 52. And so we're having a hard time right now to, trying to determine who the top 60 are. And that's a good problem. Um, but, uh, you know, we're a little bit spoiled because you can travel 60. And, and uh, it, it allows you to, to have a, take an extra guy here or there or maybe a, a guy just for special teams, something like that. So, But, uh, you know, we still have to discuss it offensively and defensively. There's always one extra guy you'd like to take. And... And, uh, you know, towards the end of the year, it's a little bit easier because usually you're, you've got somebody banged up or somebody out because of an injury. So right now, at the beginning of the year, it can be tough uh, narrowing it down to 60. Do you feel like if you could take 70 or 80, you'd still have that decision to make? Probably. Probably. <laughs> if we take 70, we'd probably have the same problem. Yeah. You're right. Well, you look at uh, experience back, and you mentioned, you know, people get caught up in number of starters and those things, and that's important. But you touched on it. Just overall depth experience. How big of a difference do you see in the preseason uh, when you have a more experienced team, maybe compared to a year ago, if it's the, the rate you can practice with or anything like that in, in the preseason? Yeah, there were just so, like, a year ago, there were just so many things that we were unsure of, you know. And, uh, you know, we ended up winning the game at Central Oklahoma, but we really didn't play that well. And we, were, you know, we played just good enough to, you know, finally, uh, and it was maybe which team that had the fewest Five mistakes. takeaways helps, right? Yeah. So, you know, we didn't play great, but we found, found, found a way to win that game. You know, this year, uh, a lot different attitude, just uh, how comfortable I think the offensive players are with, with the system that we're doing. Uh, again, another year in the same defense. Uh, continuity in your coaching staff just, just makes such a huge difference. And um, there are obviously several things that we're worried about that, you know, that you wonder if you've repped enough times and those type of things. But uh, still, overall, feel much better about where we're at right now than, than a year ago. How do you feel in terms of, uh, you know, you'll obviously add wrinkles depending on who you play and, and maybe your team takes on a little different identity. But how do you feel with where you are, whether it's percentage or something to that effect of what you have installed right now? You know, we feel real good about that. We we kind of pared things down a little bit, and we feel like um, with what we're doing, we have a, have a very good run package. And again, we you know I think it's either 17 out of the last 19 or 18 out of the last 20 years that we've led the conference in rushing. So we're going to run the football, but um, we we've kind of pared it down a little bit. What we're doing in the run game, there's not as many things for us to block up front, but we're still going to look very multiple and with our sets and the things that we do. Um, so we'll still be able to spread you out all over the field. We'll still be able to run it and throw it out of, out of a lot of different formations. But uh, I think we'll look and appear to be much more multiple than we really are. How about uh, the, you know, you want to test yourself. You want to scrimmage and, and those types of things. You, you hope you don't get anybody hurting those, but it's kind of a necessary evil. Times you've gone 11 on 11. Do you feel one side of the ball or the others had the upper hand? Early on, defensively, you always kind of feel like that. I, I, sometimes it doesn't matter how experienced you are offensively, unless you're returning all five starting offensive linemen, yeah. maybe. But defensively, early on, we definitely felt like we were further along. Uh, then you get to a point where you have to go against each other, and you continue to go a lot of ones versus ones because you want good on good. But uh, And then you get to a point where the defense is seeing all the routes that you run, and they're running two routes by formations and those type of things. So it makes it a little bit tougher. I think it gets easier in the game um, because, you know, in practice, you know, defensively sometimes you don't have to worry so much about getting beat deep. So you're able to jump some of the short stuff a little bit harder than you normally would in, in a game. So offensively, 
I think once we get to, to the game time, it, it makes it a tad bit easier. Defensively, sometimes you worry a little bit about you've been going against your offense so much, and, and it doesn't matter. First game of the year, both, both teams are worried a little bit about what the other team's going to do. We've been preparing off last year's uh, video, and uh, that's really all we have to go on. Uh, I know Coach Partridge has, has joked with me, you know, about they're going to be in a three-man front defensively, and they've been in a four-man front for a hundred years. Right, so, right. you know, I don't, I don't foresee them changing at all. But, um, but you always worry. First game of the year, there's so many things that they can do that you, you're not prepared for, and so you have to be able to make some adjustments on the fly. You look at it as well in the in the preseason. Um, you you want to stay healthy. That's a huge part of it. You can, uh, I guess, divulge as much as you want. You hold some guys out here and there, but uh, relatively speaking, has it been an okay uh, camp as far as staying away from anything big? Yeah, you know, we lost two or three kids right before camp started. Um, so you know, losing Gage McKinnis and and he gives us depth at, at the safety position, and then Josiah Cody was a a returning offensive lineman that we lost a week before camp started. So those were some pretty tough losses. But again, sometimes, you know, you, you sure hate to lose anybody, but it, maybe sometimes it's better to lose them now than two to three weeks in and not have somebody that's had any reps. So um, it, that's just part of football. The injury injury such injuries are such a huge thing on how you handle them and how you have your next guy prepared and ready to go. Um, you know, in Division Two, you're never as deep as you'd like to be at every position, and so I think it even becomes more important. Um, so, you know, we're in a pretty good shape right now. Uh, again, you don't want to say too much because we still have another practice or two to go before yeah. Thursday. All right, Coach, we will uh, take our first break. When we come back, we'll start talking about each side of the ball and positions as well. So stay with us. That and more when we return with uh, Coach Beck live from Chatter's Restaurant and Bar right after this.